the content saturation problem, especially as AI is disrupting the space, do you think that it's still possible to generate thought leadership through content? I think, yeah, I absolutely think so. And I, and I don't think, I think there's a saturation problem with content that sucks, right? <laughs> you know, the stuff that's actually valuable, I don't think we have enough of that. Uh, when people do find content sources that are valuable, they latch onto them, right? They'll subscribe to those newsletters. They'll listen to those podcasts. You know, when you find something that truly adds value, you will go back to it again and again. But the stuff that you can easily outsource to a content farm or any of that stuff, yeah, there's going to be tons of that and we're going to see a lot more of it, but it's not valuable. And if that's all you're pushing out, then you're really not going to get in front of the customer. And, mm -hmm. and it shows that you're not really invested in being in front of the customer, if that's the strategy, if you, if you truly don't want to invest in putting stuff out there that's valuable for your client. Yeah, it makes you look more like a churn and burn agency as opposed yeah. to a strategic advisor that's invested in an industry.